All right, welcome back, everyone. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Today we're going to have a look at a, an icon of the silver screen in Hollywood, director and filmmaker Alfred Hitchcock. You've seen his movies, Psycho, The Birds, Rear Window, Vertigo. The list goes on and on. We're going to ask the question, was Alfred Hitchcock perhaps a member of Hollywood's secret societies, an occultist, Maybe a Freemason, an Illuminist. I'll offer you some of the evidence, and you decide. We're starting off with the picture which you may think is an odd one to begin with. However, if Mr. Hitchcock were in fact in the secret societies, in the Brotherhood of Freemasonry, he would be indicating to others that he is a secret monitor, a grand pontiff. This comes from the Masonic encyclopedias themselves. Here he is creepily playing the game, I guess, of peekaboo, or maybe it's a, it's a creative artistic eye exam that he's undergoing from behind the, the propeller blades of a airplane, doing the one-eyed symbolism, the Eye of Horus all goes back to Egypt. And of course you get more one-eyed symbolism here where he's sort of hiding behind a, a brick wall. It reminds me of this photograph of Rat Pack member Sammy Davis Jr. who was actually a mage in the Church of Satan. Friends with Anton LaVey and Michael Aquino of Temple of Set. Yet more one-eyed symbolism, this time by holding up a magnifying glass over his eye, closing the other. Horace, it's on the back of your dollar bill, by the way. Capstone of the pyramid, inscribed 1776 below it, talking about this commencement of a new world order. You know, you've seen it all the time. Shh, we're in a we're in a library. Keep it down. Harpocrates, the vow of silence, the god of silence, the vow of silence. Harpocrates is Horus. Long before the days of heavy metal, ACDC, Black Sabbath, people were throwing up the sign of the horns, devil horns. This is the sign of the horns. A cursed sign, the two fingers extended. This way, spread apart for sort of shotgun blast, you know, I all always over. Figured if I the apologists, the occultist gaslighters of our world would come on and maybe try to suggest it, though. Oh, he was a metal fan. Really. Here he is in the so-called prayer pose that I show you in all these videos that they all do. I don't know about you, but when I pray to God... My eyes don't roll into the back of my head. Here you go. More, just more of the same, right? Now, perhaps one of the more odd poses that Alfred Hitchcock did during the years was this Garuda Mudra pose from yoga. And I can certainly see it. He definitely looks like he was, uh, you know, imagine him in a leotard, yoga pants, definitely limber. Let's pray that before Alfred Hitchcock left this plane of existence, that he got to know Jesus Christ, that he repented of his sins. Maybe he was baptized. I'd like to see all these people above. I probably won't. God bless you all in Jesus' name for watching today's video. Have a blessed evening. If you found this video useful today, educational, check out some other videos from this series, Are They Illuminati? By clicking down below, you can also subscribe to my channel this way. Again, God bless you in Jesus' name.